Hello everyone, welcome back to Honey Mathematics, happy to see you here. Really interesting algebra problem today. We need to simplify this expression with, with square root signs. We have square root of square root 2025 plus 2024 with the square root sign. On the first side, this question is really difficult, but let's try to solve it in an easy way. And I want to show you a really good trick. How can we do this? At first, I want to, to ask you to subscribe to my channel put your likes, I really appreciate it, it helps me a lot, and if you write any comment, it inspires me a lot, and I'm very happy with it. So if you want to support me, subscribe to my videos, put likes, and write any comment. Thank you, and let's try to solve it. Okay, we have square root of 2025. Let's work with this first element, square root of 2025, 2025. How can we simplify this? We all know that this 2025 is really good to write as as you can see, we have 25, so if you multiply this 25 by 81, we will have a really interesting answer, because we will have that square root of 25 times square root of 81 is equal to 5 times 9, equal to 45. So, as you can see, finally we simplify our square root sign, and right now we have 45. So, this is really good for us. So, let's go further. Let's simplify this square root of 20, 24. Let's simplify this. 20, 24. How can we simplify this? One and only way I see that we simplify this, we can write this one as square root of 4 times 506. I see this, this expression right here. And let's, let's simplify this a little bit. How can we simplify this? Take a look closely to this. 500, 506, we can write as, so take a look, square root of 4, and right here we simplify this square root of 506. By, but 506 we can write as 22 times 23. So, final answer will be the next one. Right here, square root of 4 equal to 2, so we have 2, and the same right here, we have square root of 22 times square root of 23. And this is the maximum that we can simplify it. And let's go to our to our question that we have in the beginning. So let's write the question how this question looks like with these steps. We have 45 instead of 20, 25, and plus 2 square root of 22 times square root of 23. So we have this expression. And right now I want to show you a really good trick how can we solve it easily and without any troubles right here. This 45 is really good to write as 22 plus 23. So we have, instead of this 45, we have 22 plus 23 and plus this 2 square root of 22 times square root of 23. And I hope you see right now a really interesting moment, because if we write this 22 as square root of 22 to the square and plus this 23 as 23 the square root of 23 square and this element in the end, 2 square root of 22 times square root of 23, and moreover, if I write on the bottom of this a formula a square plus b square and plus 2ab, I hope you see right now that we have a completely, uh, completely good formula for us. This is our a, this is our b, we have 2, we have 2, we have b square, we have a square, and a equal to a, b equal to b from here. So this is our formula. But what formula? Right here our identity, we have a plus b square. But instead of a and b, we need to put square root of 22 plus square root of 23. So we have right here square root of 22 plus square root of 23 square. But moreover, we have a square root sign. So this is our simplifying step, but we still have square root sign. So we need to write inside the square root sign. We have square root of 22 plus square root of 23 square. And if you know a little bit about math, we can easily cancel it, because we have square, we have square root, so we can cancel this sign and this sign, and as a result we have square root of 22 plus square root of 23. And this is our answer. But I want to mention one really interesting moment. If you have right here this situation, so if you cancel it, you need to put absolute value. Of course, right here, absolute value is positive, so square root of two positive number is positive one, so you can easily go with it without absolute value. But if you have, for example, situation with the minus sign, so for example, this is our answer, but if you have example, if you have situation when you have absolute value of square root of 23 minus square root of 22, or square, or right here we have plus 
but right here we have square root of 22 minus square root of 23 so we have two cases the first one and the second one the first one two positive number of course you put plus between the behind these parentheses square root of 23 plus square root of 22 equal to square root of 23 plus square root of 22 so both, both both positive numbers so nothing changed for us but in this case if you have a subtraction right here you need to see how sign with this absolute value so square root of 23 is greater than square root of 22 so we need to put minus because this absolute value will have negative sign so minus and square root of 22 minus square root of 23 so as a result square root of 23 minus square root of 22 so i hope you understand this step so this is really important but really here we have a sum so our answer is is really good for us if you still have any question write a question in comment it will be released to read it and of course if you still have any question write a question in the comment put your thumbs up put likes if it's not hard to you it's really inspires me and it helps me to make a new content and i see that you like this video and it's it's really happy to me that you do okay thank you for watching see you in the next videos